Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of this replay. Now, in comes in a couple of Hellions. Hellions trying to just micro these Zerglings, making sure that those Zerglings are unable to really deal that much damage, toasting most of that Zergling army and taking them down very, very easily. So, a couple of these um, Hellions, 4 kills, 5 kills, 7 kills, outmove these Phoenixes as well. So, one control row of Phoenixes on the move, gonna go Overlord hunting. Not quite as effective as the original Corsair and Overlord hunting, but still able to deal a lot of damage as they are able to move very, very quickly. The Phoenixes have a range of 4, however their fast attack rate enables them to really hunt down Mutalists and really take them down very easily. In come these Mutalists, and now Mutalists a very, very poor counter to these Phoenixes. These Phoenixes are dealing 20 damage around. And now more phoenixes coming in, and as you can see, those those phoenixes are in fact moving very quickly. May get a couple kill, a couple of hits off. Yeah, able to continue to focus down those units and able to take down even more. A couple of zerglings getting toasted as well by these hellions. Now we have overlords by Thunda. Thunda using those overlords in order to make sure we are not expanding, only expanding in the center of our base. We are now macroing up, getting the weapons upgrade, getting the armors upgrade, getting the level 2 weapon upgrade over here. So sitting on a fair number of Thors, so sitting on Thor, 4 Thors. Now normally I would not go th this many Thors in a Terran, in a Terran versus Zerg matchup because I am afraid of Infestors. However, Ichuchi, I believe, has granted me control so I can use the Graviton Beam, and the Graviton Beam can pick up an Infestor. I believe the the investor has to be has to channel that ability, and he cannot move. So I'm not sure exactly what happens when a phoenix picks up an investor while it's channeling, but it cannot be good. And anyway, so now Ichuchi now using those graviton beams, just picking up those units very quickly and getting a lot of kills, just focusing down these um, units. And but however, Ichuchi for some reason not moving and attacking with these units, and now uh, getting a little bit sloppy there, losing a couple of those. Losing a couple of those units there. So Thunder now with a very, very strong Mutalist army with that level 1 weapon upgrade, dealing 10 damage a shot. However, Marines, Reapers, and Thors on the move to take down this expansion. Hale um, he only has one single pylon protecting that whole entire patch of of cannons. However, it will get taken down very, very easily. Those are not Corsairs, there's no disruption web. And now in, we're gonna have a very, these Thors come into position. The Thors will be dealing a lot of damage as well against those Mutalists. So the Mutalists and Thors against um, Marines, Mass Marines and Colossus with cannon support. So we'll see how this is all gonna work. The, uh, the Thors are not firing those missiles, you know, making short work of all of those Mutalists, but they are not firing against those um, against the Colossus. The Colossus have that range of 9, able to deal a lot of damage, able to take down a lot of these Thors. However, the Phoenix is with that air-to-air -air attack, focusing down those Colossus, making sure that they get taken down, and the Thors taking the majority of the damage from those cannons. As the Thors are in fact going to go ahead and take down, remove those three cannons, turn them offline, make them no longer operational, using the 250mm strike cannon as well in order to take down the rest of these probes and then going to clear out this expansion. So Ichuchi using these phoenixes very well and acting as a little bit of air-to-air -air support. So these phoenixes countering those mutalists, those phoenixes countering those colossus and or giving me a little bit of an edge on those colossus as the fight continues. Now we have Vikings moving out. Thors and Marines, no medics, no medevacs yet, I believe, yeah, medevacs now being produced, come in, I saw that there was an, it was an observer there, so I do a quick scanner sweep in order to reveal the observer, gonna go ahead and move on out, level uh, 2 weapons upgrade, do, not level 3, level one, level 2 weapons upgrade as well for the weapons, gonna be researched, as these Thors, these Vikings gonna go ahead and just try to, just walk into this base and perhaps try to take it out, army wise, um, I'm sitting on a 45-50, um, Ichuchi sitting on a 29-25, Thunder sitting on a 20-50, and Holly sitting on a 9-50. Warp Prisms on the move and perhaps trying to warp in some units to do a little bit of a drop. And the high Mutalist quickly coming in, however, they're going to be running headlong into the Javelin missiles of a Thor and the attack of a Viking with the Lancer torpedoes. So those are those once again getting taken down very quickly. A couple SCVs on auto repair to try to repair some of these medevacs and these more expensive units. As these marines once again on the move with that level one one weapons upgrade. Zerglings now trying to move across the map, trying to perhaps take down some of these units. A single marine quickly getting no not getting killed. They're finally getting killed. 
this Thor is not a good counter toward, towards those Marines, but those Marines, no, sorry, not good a counter against those Zerglings. However, those Marines, with a very, um, with Stimpak, able to just rip through the rest of those Marines. One Thor down to 63 hit points. So I'm going to go ahead and send it back and let it be repaired. Now we have an, the army of the army of Ichuchi sitting on nine phoenixes, uh, what, ten phoenixes, nine stalkers, and now a couple void rays as well. So those void rays will also be able to offer some additional air-to-air -air support uh, against those colossus. Those Viking, uh, those void rays will be able to focus down those units fairly easily. Those void rays have a range of seven, which is equivalent to the range of a photon cannon. And we'll see, we'll see what's going to be happening. So Ichuchi is going to come around and try to harass from this backside. And then, as the Graviton Beam picking up the rest of these units, in comes a Mutalist. Mutalist, however, why is a Graviton Beaming so many of these units and just con continuing to fire back, take them down? In comes this army of uh, Thors and Vikings. These Immortals, however, are somehow not on group and attack, uh, unable to get within position, and then Hale leaves the game. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 2v2 matchup here on Twilight Fortress.